Hello, uh, this is Running D. On the last video, I said I was going to start actually making the text adventure game from this second video, but uh, I remembered there is another thing that I feel I should explain, and uh, which is a function called scanner. And so this is very important function to make the text adventure game we are going to create. And so on this video, I'm going to write uh, a little sample program to explain what is this scanner. So let's start. And so first, what is this scanner? So scanner with this scanner, we can receive keyboard input from users. So whenever you know user type some key, this scanner scan the input and uh, get it as an information. Well, I will explain uh, with an example. I think it's more easy easy to understand so and first we need to do some preparation to use this scanner and so last time we created like string or int and uh, when we created this variable we choose a name such as my weapon or yeah, my HP or something like this, you know. So, like these, uh, you need to put a name first, you know, to this scanner. So, you can choose whatever you want, like, yeah, scanner or SC or scan or, yeah, whatever, you know. And so, yeah, like my scanner or and the same my colon but uh, Eclipse still gives you an error and so it says uh, scanner cannot be resolved to a type and so why um well actually this scanner is kind of a built-in function of Java so you know you are since it's already in Java, you are supposed to use this, you know, supposed to be able to use this. But uh, why you cannot use this? Um, to use this function, this scanner is in Java, but not in your class. I mean, this game class yet. So you need to, first, you need to import this scanner to this game class, the class you are crea you are making. So to do that, so if you mouse over like here, and it says import scanner Java, you know, and so if you click here, and it will automatically uh, import scanner for you, or uh, you can also manually type here, like import. Java util scanner and so now scanner was imported and the error has disappeared and uh, whenever you import something uh, you usually type at the very beginning of your program you know, like this and so or you can delete this and uh, if you click this and so Eclipse does exactly the same thing for you so it's very convenient and so now we chose a name for this scanner so kind of a, your original scanner but since uh, we want to use this scanner to receive a keyboard input so we need to kind of uh, add 
this function to this scanner and so to do that you type like this my scanner equal so this is the scanner we 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 just created and uh, new scanner system in and semicolon so yeah and now scanner is ready uh, but uh, you know this code here looks very difficult and you know so it's very confusing you know so I will try to explain in my understanding at least and so what this means uh, basically it says this my scanner ah, okay first uh, this system in means with this system in so this scanner can read or scan uh, keyboard input so this line basically means uh, this my scanner called you know my scanner is scanner with this system dot in function you know maybe it's not exactly the correct correct way to say but uh, yeah in my understanding it I think it's something like that so we yeah, are basically means you know with this line uh, your scanner can read or receive or scan uh, keyboard input you know of users and so you need also you need to type this new thing here so with this new this java or computer you know program uh, understand you know this is kind of something you, you just created something new thing new stuff and so with this you can use this scanner so what kind of thing we are going to use this scanner you know so we understand you know this can scan or receive keyboard input so for example with this scanner uh, you can let users type their name and so you know you can use their name in your game so yeah let's uh, create this program so first we are going to use this string again and so because uh, we need a container to contain user's name so we are going to a uh, new container and uh, choose a name so in this case I'm going to choose player name or something yeah so we just created a string called player name you know? so we are going to use this to receive a player's keyboard input and so okay what's next um and so next we type like this player name equal my scanner dot dot next line okay so this also looks kind of difficult but uh, yeah I'm going to explain so this is yeah this is string we just created and this is scanner we created no? and uh, so what this means okay this means scanner this scanner is going to get text user will type next so and so this scanner receive the text and uh, put to the text into this player name string okay so whatever you know user type 
this scanner is going to get that text and put into this player name. So, okay, uh, yeah. Let's check it with an um, example. So, okay, first, um, to make make it e easier to understand, I'm going to like something, write something like this. You know, print line, uh, please enter your name. <coughs> and again another system dot out print line and uh, okay <coughs> hello and uh, player name so what's going to happen with this program yeah let's see okay run and so first it says player uh, please enter your name you know this one and after that actually at this point you can you know you can type something you know so like uh, yeah Bon Jovi or something you know and if you press enter here so it says hello bon jovi you no know, because yeah first it displays text please enter your name and uh, so now this scanner is going to receive the text text data that you type next and so and the put in this case i i typed bon jovi so this scanner get this bon jovi and put put into this player name string you know so although player name was uh, you know empty at this point but now it has text data you know from this scanner so and now next System out print line and hello player name and since you know this player name received uh, Bon Jovi from this scanner, so it says hello Bon Jovi. So yeah, this is how you know how to receive text data uh, with scanner, and so yeah, and uh, this time we receive text data with this scanner but uh, this scanner also you know can receive number data so let's try this too and so to receive number data first okay so I'm we are not going to uh, these things for now so I'm going to uh, comment out this if there is a text that uh, you know you are not using but uh, you don't want to delete it for now then uh, you can make it as a comment you know not a code so to do that you just press like uh, slash twice and so and then it, it becomes green and uh, it is considered as just a comment not a programming code and so like this like this like this or you know you can select this and control slash and so you can automatically comment out everything basically and so yeah also you know whatever y you want to leave a note or you know write a memo and you can use this function and like uh, this is comment or whatever so anyway so let's receive number data with scanner this time so to do that this time 
we are going to uh, int variable and so okay for example like uh, this time I'm going to name this number hmm. and so we created this number variable here and so with this variable so and now it's kind of similar with this string case but uh, just a little different scanner dot uh, this time we type like this next int for string case it was my scanner dot next line but uh, to receive a uh, number information you type like not next line but the next int so a little different and so okay with this we can receive you know text uh, number in number data and so okay like, uh, system dot out print line please enter a num number or something and uh, we need to display result as well so print line hmm. the number you typed hmm. uh, typed is uh, okay and uh, number okay like this so yeah this scanner receive keyboard input in this case number and uh, put the number into this number variable you know container called number and displayed the number here okay yeah. let's see please enter a number yeah so like uh, yeah 55 the number you typed is 55 so yeah if you type you know 11 the number you typed is 11 so what kind of purpose uh, are we going to use this thing you know for example whenever you want to let user select something you know like uh, action command or something and you put number to you know each action command and so like uh, one is attack and two is defend uh, three is use item and uh, four is run away or something and so you know you can let the user type any number and so and uh, you know get uh, number data and so with this number uh, you know you can let the next action happen so and uh, yeah this is very useful to make a text adventure game so yeah yeah I wanted to explain about this scanner and so and uh, receive this keyboard input thing uh, before start before starting to make a game but uh, yeah from this next video uh, I I'm really going to uh, actually start making the game yeah thanks for watching